Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bollenbach, and today I'll be taking you back to the moon. Since the last manned landing in 1972, no person has been back to the lunar surface. Now NASA is committed to landing American astronauts, including the first woman, on the moon by 2024. The agency will do this with a program called Artemis, named for the Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister to Apollo, for whom NASA named the space program that first brought astronauts to the moon half a century ago. This mission will use new innovative technologies to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before and develop an ongoing presence there. As part of the Artemis program, NASA is collaborating with commercial and international partners across the globe to help establish a sustainable human settlement on the moon. Artemis will consist of three missions. Each will be a consecutive step on the path to establishing a base camp on the moon. Instruments will be sent ahead beginning in 2021 after the agency flies to trial stages around the moon to test their deep space exploration systems. These uncrewed flights launching the first mission will hopefully test the powerful new SLS rocket. However, it is possible an alternative rocket will be used for transportation like the Falcon Heavy. For the second mission, the rocket and Orion spacecraft will take astronauts nearly a quarter million miles from Earth to lunar orbit. Astronauts will dock Orion at the Gateway to begin the third mission. Gateway is an outpost that will be around the moon to support and provide a platform for experiments in lunar orbit. NASA is going to send individual pieces of Gateway up on their rocket and astronauts are going to have to actually build a station in lunar orbit. This middleman is critical for sustainable lunar exploration and will extend humanity's presence in space. NASA expects humans to land on the moon by 2024 and hopefully about once a year after that. Landing systems have yet to be finalized, but will tentatively transfer humans from Gateway, their floating base in orbit, to the surface of the moon for manned expeditions. When they land, astronauts will set foot where no human has ever been before, the moon's south pole. Their target is Shackleton Crater, which is two miles wide and about two miles deep. Data indicate ice may possibly make up about 20% of the surface in this crater. Future astronauts will need spacesuits to explore more of the surface, so NASA developed advanced extravehicular suits that will protect against the harsh environment of space. The astronauts will have to learn how to live and operate on the surface of another celestial body where they are three days from home. Other priorities and objectives for manned missions include finding water and other critical resources needed for long-term exploration and learning more about our satellite as solving long-standing lunar mysteries can even tell us about our home planet. The crew will then use the Orion spacecraft to return safely to Earth after their mission. The capsule was built to withstand the extreme heat upon re-entry into the atmosphere thanks to its updated heat shield. What scientists learn about the moon from Artemis will be used to take the next giant leap for mankind, sending humans to Mars. To reach Mars safely and successfully, NASA must first explore more of the moon's surface with human and robotic explorers. Lunar missions will help to prove the technologies humans need to confidently conduct work and support life away from Earth before sending astronauts to embark on the first human mission to Mars. The Artemis program will demonstrate new capabilities needed for future Mars exploration and hopefully inspire a new generation of explorers who can continue marching onwards because the universe, let alone the newest space race, won't slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.